Being in here, learning everything, has really got me to where I wanted to be. Training us and showing us how to do things and what not to do has kind of helped me be a little bit more prepared for the future. I try to get most of them ready with some certificates that we have. We're allowed our taser certified, spray certified, stop the bleed, CPR, AED, first aid, all that stuff to get them certified and at least get them into that career field as maybe a corrections officer or even like a dispatcher. I think definitely it's going to help me with law enforcement, so I'll have my foot in the door with being in the jail for a few years, and then once I'm 21, I can go into an academy. I really didn't know what to expect when I went in, because obviously I haven't worked in a jail. Um, it was very eye-opening. And then once I go to the academy, I'll have a bit more higher ranking than people who just graduated with a high school diploma. I have more job opportunities, so later on I can be a deputy, so I have most of the training now than what I have when I first start off. Some traffic stops are just low key. Other ones, we have bad guys, and I, I put them under some heavy stress. They're still teenagers, right? And then when it's all done, I'm like, hey, we're here for practice, right? Like, relax on this. This is, this is getting you ready. I'm Megan Lacker and I teach the Health Careers Academy senior students. I was a student here, Miss, uh, Mrs. Newland was my teacher. From the senior program, the students can walk away with their phlebotomy, uh, their medical assistant, and um, patient care tech. So those are three credentials that they could walk into a facility today and have a really good job and be successful and it prepares them um, as a future healthcare professional. Michelle from Community Health and Wellness, um, she came to talk to my students and talked about the need for medical assistant. I wasn't even going to teach medical assistant and I switched gears at the last second and was like, well, this is what industry needs and we're going we're gonna to go down that path. And we decided that we would like to put students working in a doctor's office and into the schools. I have got to experience a lot of stuff that I never thought I was going to get to experience, like as a high school student. I'm a half-day student at Benjamin Logan High School, so I leave my third period class around, say, 11.45. I drive from Benjamin Logan to the West Liberty, Main West Liberty office. I'm scheduled to work from 12.30 to 5 o'clock. I take vitals from patients, and um, I've had the opportunity to give quite a few flu shots. High Point has prepared me so much. This program, it gives you so many opportunities. You have not just one certification, but you walk out of the, the graduation stage with four certifications if you pass. Avery Hankins. It's nice to have an extra learning experience under my belt, I guess you could say, because I'm ahead. I mean, I'm starting with injections. We haven't even talked about that in class yet, and it's just, it's fun to learn. and. Yeah, I like being hands-on. Credentials earned, CPR, Certified Phlebotomy Technician, OSHA 10, STNA, Certified Medical Assistant, and Patient Care Technician. Those three students are doing an amazing job and uh, I couldn't ask for anything more. They are a hundred steps ahead of where I was at even and it's, it's a pretty incredible Thing that we can do all those things here at Ohio High Point. It more than prepares our students and the fact that it's saying yes we still want you to go on to college if you so desire but if not we've got you prepared and ready to go. Even as a nurse myself like when I was going through nursing school uh, I never drew blood until I had RN behind my name. In engaging with our patients, uh, many of them said I would not have known they were a high school student. They came in, they are, were ready to go. Our nurses were very, very pleased with their work. Um, and so having a school that's teaching vocations and delivering this kind of quality when our patients don't even know that we, <laughs> they are not fully in their careers yet is huge.